Hi there. Uh, it's Tuesday, April 19th, and I'm in my studio at the moment. Um, this uh, computer's actually sitting on a painting of mine that I'm working on. It's on board, so can't affect it. Um, this morning I volunteered at the Berry Art Club, so I sat there, opened up so people could come and paint. And for all those people who go out and do on plein air on Mondays uh, as a group, just so you know, a uh, gentleman by the name of Brown was in. He uh, owns Brown Farm, uh, and he said that the on plein air painters had been there a, a year and a half ago, two years ago, on one of their Monday trips. And so he's actually looking to buy a painting or a drawing uh, uh, that's been completed by somebody from the Barry Art Club in the Arms Glen Air group. So anyway, that's just a little heads up to those who are out there. Oh, uh, what else? Um, as you know, I was in London last weekend and for a reception at the Museum uh, Art Rental Gallery and um, just want to say thank you to Jeff Wilmore, Rob Cousins, uh, Judy Rivera, uh, Ruth Sturby and Gillett from Old Jesus Song, Ron, uh, Ron Benner, Jen Lee Hassan, um, and Rosemary Sloops. They, um, if I miss somebody, I'm sorry. Uh, some of the artists from the community who came out and said hello. It's nice to see you. Uh, Anna and Janice from Madison Hall, thanks for coming. It was lovely to see you. And, um, my friend Sharon Miller, who owns uh, some dry cleaners in London, she actually is now volunteering there. And so she was down and saying hello, and she's just taking up glass blowing and or glass fusing or something. And uh, so she's all excited about that. And she's the woman who actually hung my show. So a big thanks to Sharon. Uh, anyway, the um, so I sold three pieces by the time I had gotten there, so that was nice. Covered my frame, and uh, so I'm hoping that within the next three weeks I'll have some more corporate either rentals or sales. Uh, two of the sales were corporate and one was private. I have asked the Museum London Art Rental people if I could get the names for the other businesses and people for my archive. Uh, it's pretty important to keep that information recorded so if you ever have a retrospective down the road, um, people know, sort of have a paper trail as to where your work has gone. So I'm trying to be more diligent about that. I also got news from the Art Exchange today that uh, in London, Ontario, that one of my larger paintings of trees has been placed in the BMO, uh, one of their offices, boardroom or something. So. I'm not sure if that means it's sold or if uh, a rental is happening throughout. So that was, anyway, nice surprise. Um, I've had a few people into the space today. It, it, it appears that my new signage is really working and the warm weather is starting to come. The sun was here for a bit, so it seems to make a real difference in traffic. But I had a lovely couple in from men. Isle of Man, uh, and so it was delightful to talk to them. Uh, and they were wondering when the tourist season was, in fact. Um, so I told them they were just a little bit early for there to be the hustle and bustle around uh, downtown. Uh, and then I also had um, two artisans from Bayside Artists, and they are just checking out the news. They um, like the energy that they're seeing down here, and you know, looking possibility to uh, find a, a, a space for themselves, a uh, husband and wife uh, combo. So anyway, it's uh, it's nice to know that we're you know, creating a, a draw down to this area. Uh, so I have a whole bunch of more art applications I need to uh, get out. One, the printmaking one. Um, to submit an edition of 10 and in, in doing that you also get a collection of other people's prints so uh, that's kind of appealing to me sort of like an art exchange uh, one gets auctioned off and the rest are uh, I guess divvied up amongst the artists 
And then, so I might take the opportunity to use the Lino Cut class this Thursday night with Megan, or yes, with Megan Armstrong at Creative Space to do that edition. Um, so I will need to get my plate and papers prepared to uh, so they fit the uh, guidelines. Uh, what else? There's um, tons of calls for residency. Um, oh, I just got notice of the call for the uh, that group of seven gallery down in Kleinberg. So that gallery is now looking for artists for their October show and sale. So I'll be applying to that. Uh, of course, sort of gearing my the pieces I choose to that submission, primarily with sort of formal landscape or still lights or whatever. So I'll probably um, enter in my more traditional work for that submission. Um, art Cures, their art, art in the Dark event, which is a one hour long art battle, and as well as their annual art show in the Aurora Culture Center coming up. They're looking for artists to show and sell. It's 125 for the week, 10 days actually huge bargain. If they get enough traffic and you make one sale, you should be covered. So that's Art Cures, um, if you want to go online to go there. Uh, not too far from Drive from Barry. Joel Perrin is still at Arabesque, I believe, so the first uh, week of May. If you haven't seen his uh, watercolor collage work up, I, need, I still need to pop over. For some reason, I, I missed that. And, um, so anyway, you know, today I was able to buckle down and actually start another one of these uh, Rubia pieces. I have about ten in mind that I can do. I was able to actually sketch down sort of ten uh, cohesive uh, juxtapositions while driving to London, always at work. And um, so anyway, just moving forward on those trying to stop thinking of ideas so I can actually execute the ideas I have already uh, started. Uh, Alright, I'm going to say uh, ciao for now. Um, come on down to the space if you haven't been since my renovations. I still need to paint two walls, but things are looking pretty good in here. And uh, if you still would like to sign up for the workshops, there's about three spaces and in two of them and about six spaces in the other. Uh, and, and I will be looking, I'll be putting out a call for submissions for installation work uh, for the May 1st time frame. So look for that on my website, call for submissions. I'll also post them on Facebook and uh, I'm not sure about Akimbo, there might be um, a feed um, that goes along with that. But Anyway, uh, have a great day. I hope people got something done, and I'll try and talk tomorrow. Bye-bye.